In this video, we're going to provide all the information you need to know before going to Jenny Springs in Florida. It's, it's a fantastic place, and everyone should go. Uh, and if you're worried it's too big of a party, I'll get into that as well. For everyone that liked our Smoky Mountain and Georgia Island videos, I think you'll like these Florida videos as well. Shannon and I have a bunch of videos coming out soon from Florida and other countries we have visited. So subscribe to make sure to get notified when those come out. We go to some epic places. You're not going to you're not going to want to miss those. So let's start with why you would even want to go to Jenny Springs. As President Biden would say, one word. The water. Joking aside, the water here is fantastic. It's so clear, you can lie on the bottom and bird watch. Or as Jack Cousteau said, visibility forever. There are seven springs here, and three of those are at the Devil Spring system. We snorkel and scuba all over the world, but when we saw just how clear the water was here, we knew we had to make a trip to Florida. Plus, we hadn't taken a trip with our new camper for a while. We'll show you all the water activities you can do here shortly. Jenny Springs is a privately owned campground and park near High Springs in northern Florida on the Santa Fe River. It has primitive campsites with grills and picnic tables, and they are on a first-come, first-served basis, so make sure to get there early. Jenny Springs also has a cottage you can rent and 123 water and electric only campsites. They also have plenty of bathrooms with hot running water and showers, a food stand where you can buy cooked snacks and meals, and a general store. One of the funnest activities here is tubing or floating down the river. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Why not? So <laughs> see my chest. I told you. So we got here and they said the scuba diving is closed. I hope it opens back up. It's one of the main reasons we came here. You can rent tubes here, but I highly recommend you buy and bring your own. It costs as much to rent a tube for the day as it does just to buy your own. And they have a free air fill station. Plus if you buy your own, you can find one to match your own personal style. It's cool. Oh, it's, it's cool. There's no cool about it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's cold. You got little chicken legs. I mean, worse than my legs. Uh, there's some good chicken wings there. Chicken wings? Okay. <laughs> this is brisk. Oh! That's cold. Snakes, when did the alligators come out? Sometimes we were the only ones on the river and we started worrying about alligators. Then we floated right past one. But I'll get to that when I talk about all the wildlife you will see here. Oh, he's not just a baby. Yeah, I went and got a shirt. I learned in Puerto Rico, nobody wants to see me with my shirt off. That's when the alligators come out. There's nobody. <laughs> I bet you climb up that tree and then I don't know how you get the rope exactly. Thicker. I make these videos, I know what I'm doing. I got dozens of subscribers. I don't know what Shannon said to me, but she was clearly giving me a hard time, which I deserve. I do really want to thank all of our awesome subscribers. I thought Utah was muddy. This is the uh, this is this is really muddy. We move to a different site tomorrow. I'm sure it's just as muddy though.
Well, the scuba diving here is closed. They closed it a few weeks ago. Uh, doesn't sound like it's gonna open anytime soon. Kinda wonder, kinda wonder if someone died in one of these caves. We were hoping to do not serious cave diving because you have to have a certification for that. But we were gonna. There's one Jenny Springs. You can dive as a open water diver because you can always see the entrance. That's about 50 feet. Uh, that would have been nice to do. But there's some other scuba diving opportunities later. I think we're just gonna do a lot of snorkeling. The water's pretty cold, but we've got our wetsuits. So I think we'll start where you get in to do the tubing and we'll swim down to Devil's Spring, swim around in there and then swim down to Ginny Springs. And there's one past there, right? There's two past there. Two past there? We would pretty much just start snorkeling at Devil's Spring, then snorkel down the river and into each of the other springs. Every other website and video will tell you these springs are a warm 72 degrees. They are not. They are a cold 72 degrees. A wetsuit is a must for scuba, but I'd also recommend one for snorkeling as well. You will eventually get cold, at least if you are cold-natured like us, and we spend a ton of time in the water. However, if you're just swimming, the springs do feel great on those hot and humid days. Each of the springs are crystal clear and they all empty into the brackish water of the Santa Fe River. The river is warmer than the springs. The Devil's Spring system is composed of three springs, Devil's Eye, Devil's Ear, and Devil's Spring. If you go to right where the springs meet the river at the right time of day, you can get some incredible views. Try swimming down into the spring and look back towards the surface. If you're lucky, it will look like fiery flames. We weren't there at the right time of day and it was hard to swim down wearing a wetsuit, but I did notice the water turned really red instead of the usual green. This is pretty cool. We uh, we haven't snorkeled in a lot of fresh water. It's a little brackish in the river, but the springs are crystal clear. Jenny Springs has a ton of wildlife. Here you will find lots of freshwater turtles and fish, lots of birds, possibly snakes, and if you're real lucky or unlucky, alligators. We were lucky enough to see one. And later we run into a family of armadillos. The springs here are fantastic. A little chilly right when you get in, but not too bad with the wetsuit. I like this place, especially on the weekdays. Since this campground is privately owned, it's one of the few springs you can drink alcohol at. It's a party down here. That means you will get a lot of college kids and parties on the weekends and holidays. We definitely saw some people overindulging. But don't let that deter you from coming. It was still a very family-friendly place from our experience. I think he's had too much fun. All right, these are my new friends. 
Say cheese. If you are worried or just don't like a lot of noise and people, make sure to come during the week. We were there in July and Monday through Thursday, we basically had the place to ourselves. It's not that there are not a ton of rules and regulations here, there are. They just don't seem to enforce them. One of my favorite rules is no dirt bikes, four wheelers, scooters, go karts, or ATVs allowed. Somebody must have not told the owners of all the ATVs we saw. But, personally, if we wanted to follow a bunch of rules and regulations, we would have gone to a public spring. I got a beer. That's kind of the beauty of this place, but obviously not for everyone. All right, guys, I'm going to have to break this into two separate videos so it's not so long. Guess we're swimming with alligators. In the next video, we float right past an alligator. I know it's a baby alligator. And we will cover more snorkeling, including our favorite spring and time of day to go, what everything costs here at Jenny Springs, and more tips and more fun. The next part should be out in about a week, or by the time you guys watch this, it's probably already out. So once it's out, all you have to do is probably click here. <laughs>